what Satchel Page was for the Negro Leagues, John Wesley Donaldson was for pre-Negro Leagues history, early era of black baseball. One of the greatest pitchers to ever toe the mound, a dazzling left-handed pitcher whose feats were, I guess you could say, something right out of a video game. Three consecutive no-hitters, over 400 verifiable wins, over 5,000 career strikeouts. And yet it's hard to believe that very few folks have heard of the great John Donaldson. For those of you who may be hearing the term barnstorming for the first time, as it relates to baseball, it just simply means that they were taking baseball to towns and places around the globe that had not seen this brand of professional baseball. And the Negro Leaguers were heralded barnstormers. As a matter of fact, the legendary Satchel Paige would credit John Donaldson for sparking his desire to want to barnstorm the country. John Donaldson was essentially a hired hand. Truthfully, it would be easier to tell you the places that he didn't pitch than it would be to tell you all the places that he did pitch. And it's so unfortunate that the color of his skin prevented this man from showcasing his dazzling skills against all of the great players in this game. You only wonder what if what if he'd gotten his chance and just how special would John Donaldson have been? I, for one, to believe that John Donaldson would have been one of the greatest pitchers to ever play this game. What made John Donaldson so special, number one, he was a softball. And he is likely the guy who invented what we now know to be the slider. Yet John Donaldson was throwing that pitch 20 years before anyone knew anything about it. He was hard to hit. No one had seen stuff quite like John Donaldson. John Donaldson could get the ball up to home plate as fast as anyone. And yes, it is true that one of his fastballs broke the hand of his catcher. I'm sure his catcher was not excited about that. And like a lot of the guys who were catching these guys like John Donaldson and Satchel Paige, you had to find a little something extra to create padding to try and protect your mitt with the catcher's mitt. And it was just hard for the opposition to catch up with that fastball of John Donaldson. When Satchel Paige says that he emulates you, then you pretty well know that he had to be a great showman, and John Donaldson was all of that and more. Like most who played in the Negro Leagues, they understood that this game was indeed entertainment, and Donaldson was the show, and people came to see the show, and he always delivered. This is where Satchel Paige got a lot of his antics. And we know the stories of how Satchel Paige would call the outfielders in and sit the infielders down, but try this on for size. And South Dakota, John Donaldson, one by one, 
started to call in his players to end up striking out the side. He knew he had the stuff, and he wanted to show off that great stuff, and people flocked to see him do his thing. By the time John Donaldson gets to the Kansas City Monarchs, he is really beyond his prime. But don't get it twisted. John Donaldson was not only a great pitcher, John Donaldson was also a great two-way star in black baseball history and in the Negro Leagues with the Kansas City Monarchs. His skill set was incredible. A great hitter who you could rely on to come in and get the job done on the mound as well because he was indeed one of the great two-way stars of the Negro Leagues. James Leslie Wilkinson, who owned the Kansas City Monarchs, believed that John Donaldson was the greatest pitcher in Kansas City Monarch history. He was a left-hander with a dominating fastball, great curve, and a full repertoire of other pitches that, like most great pitchers, he could absolutely throw everything for strikes. Now, mind you, J.L. Wilkinson had Hall of Famers Hilton Smith, Wilbur, Bullet Joe Rogan, Jose Mendez, and of course, the legendary Leroy Satchel Page. And he was perhaps the most fond of John Donaldson. Now, part of that may have been because John Donaldson made J.L. Wilkinson a lot of money because Wilkinson was literally hiring Donaldson out. And it's seemingly everywhere that Donaldson went, he dazzled. Yeah, he was a special, special ball player. And it's hard to believe that a ball player of this magnitude, very few folks have ever heard about. 